Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fitz's Stuff. And we're here with Andy. Say hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Andy, otherwise known as Utley B. Groovy. <laughs> it's <is> true. <laughs> I've brought a donation today to Mark Fitz's Stuff Towers. That's right, he's emptied the contents of his bin. <laughs> Not even my bin. I picked him no. up off of a Surbiton neighbourhood Facebook page from a uh, lovely lady called Jenny Peters who didn't want them anymore. So, um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff to play with. Thank you very much, Jenny Peters. <laughs> They've come to a lovely home. They'll be well cared for, caressed and possibly fondled. <laughs> I'll get a cup of tea, so it's all good. Hello and welcome to a very quick package opening donation edition of Mark Fix's stuff. Um... This looks really, really interesting. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. I've been told it's Commodore. So there you go. Um, I've left the autofocus on as well, so it might jump in and out of focus. So apologies if it does anybody's head in, but um, I've got to do this quick because if this stuff remains in the hall, my wife is going to leave me. Okay, so uh, first things first, big thanks to Andy for picking this up. Andy Wood, the Scourge of Surbiton. Right, so let's see what we've got here. Right, this is uh, unexpectedly a Sky Plus HD box. Bizarre. Okay, but 3D Anytime Plus Sky Plus HD box. I don't have Sky. Oh, but look. Oh, pretty blue. Figure of eight cable. So uh, we'll have that. That can go in the cable box straight away. Uh, there'll be a hard drive in here, so we'll, we'll have that. At push. Lovely. Thank you. Poo poo tinkle tinkle pop up boink and tiddly widdly 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 plop. Poo poo tinkle tinkle pop up boink. I'll sing until I stop. What's this then? A Toshiba some. Oh, it's a laptop. Right. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, Toshiba Tekra laptop. Obviously, it doesn't turn on. I think I've got a Tosh. PSU somewhere, so we'll fire that up and have a look. Possibly dead, but we'll uh, have a good look at that anyway. To one side, probably parts we can use. And now we're getting into the Sainsbury's Live Well for Lush. Right, oh look, an AC adapter for what I think is said laptop. Let's try that. So, uh, let's see if it goes in there. It does indeed go in there. Should we plug it in? Yeah, let's do that, YouTube. Sounds like a good plan. Let's see if we can burn the man cave down with me in it. I'm to try not to unplug the lights here, which would uh, be fairly silly. But that's not the light. That's the oscilloscope. Not going to be using that at this moment. So let's unplug that. And all right. Anything. No, it seems to be lifeless. Got to be honest, not one of my favourite things to muck about with. Oh, hang on. No, I think that just lit up. RTC battery is low or CMOS. Check some is inconsistent. F1 key. Okay. Okay, what is it here? Boom, boom, boom. It's properly old. End, save changes and exit. Where is end on this keyboard? Yes. I was trying to boot something. In touch with tomorrow. I'm not even in touch with right now. XP, huzzah. I'm not quite sure where this laptop's been put in this box. It seems to be booting. I'll probably find a use for it. Or pass it on to somebody. Touchpad. Everybody wants to see if this boots now or if it uh, blue screens of death. Give us a blue screen of death. Oh dear. Right, shall I put this to one side while we look at other stuff? That's a great idea. Thanks for coming up with that. Brilliant. Still booting anyway. Right. Um, bag. Hooray, he shouts. Going absolutely crazy as he sees. Wow. Okay, so there's the Sky Remote. Um, I don't actually have Sky, I have Virgin Media. Okay, Ooh, just heard Toshiba boot up. Yeah, that laptop's booted up. Bit confused. Right, uh, a data set. This looks a little worse for wear. It's uh, missing its cassette cover. 
but we can try that. But um, these can be har harvested to use on a tapuino, so uh, all good, nothing bad, even if that doesn't work. Um, but I'm pretty good at fixing these and changing the bands and stuff and bringing out the mechanisms. To one side with you, to one side I say. Next up we've got another data set. This one's a bit dustier, but it does have a, just get a tester for that, it does have a cassette cover. Oh, I bet this is killing the headphone users out there. Yeah, right, so uh, let's just have a look at the condition of that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, again, that probably worked, that one. That looks fairly typical condition. Okay, so we put that to one side. Away with you, Mr. Dataset. I do have a couple of data sets already, but now I have an additional third data set. Okay, oh, it's got a little save light as well. So, what model is that? I can't remember. C2MB, I think. Yes, C2NB. Um, this is in better condition again. Um, excellent. Well, let's see if one of those works. Look, these marks here where people say, hey, look, it looks like it's been melted. That's actually chemicals that liberate and migrate to the top of the plastic, which then mucks around with the composition of the plastic. Perhaps around, you see it in polystyrene quite a lot, but yeah, so no one's been having a go at that with a soldering iron. It's just where it's stored, it's uh, eaten into the plastic. Um, if you're a chemist and you know how, then uh, put it in the comments section below. Right, so what have we got coming up next? We have got, Ooh, a cheetah Mark One micro switched. Do I sit that one's a bit, yeah, worse for the old wear? But uh, actually, that is a really nice joystick. Just needs a bit of a clean, I think. On, off. That must be auto fire. That's really nice. Got that out of there. Oh look, and I can even use it with my uh, Sinclair machines because it's got a double donger. Right, that can go down there. This is brilliant, thanks Andy. And uh, again, another shout out to the lovely lady who uh, allowed these to be liberated. A Cheetah 125 Plus, not a great joystick uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, easy to repair though. They've got those little um, over the top metal domes over a circuit board, which uh, shift They're under a bit of tape and you can put the tape back on. Right, that can go there. We have got Tun tun tun, Kel Supri Cyril. It's a Commodore power supply. The big heavy potted one. This is weighing a ton. My arms are shaking like a pooping dog on a frosty night right now, just holding this. So um, that probably works. They usually do. Pop that to one side and um, kettle lead. But it's a right angle one, which is always useful. So we'll pop that to the ubiquitous one side. What is this? Some kind of keyboard overlay. Escape, buy cargo, sell cargo, equip ship. Long range chart, short range chart, data on system, market prices, blah, 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 blah. Some sort of trading game, front view launch. Don't know. I'm thinking Elite for some reason. Don't know though. Do not know. Let's see if we can focus on that. Don't know. Answers blue. Unless we find the answer in a moment. Look at this. Yet another sexy, sexy Cheetah Mark I uh, joystick. Although this one seems to be missing its button. Everybody go, ah. Very good. And uh, another joystick here. This is marked joystick. And again, you can see that phenomenon going on there with the, uh, the cables being wrapped around. So something to think about when you store your retro. Okay. Joysticks out of the way, and let's look at these exciting big old blocks of uh, yumminess. Right, okay, um, that goes with the one on the top. Because this, my friends and folklore fabulous fans, I don't even make sense, is a Mahusive Commodore 1541 five and a quarter floppy disk drive. That is absolutely brilliant. And probably what the right angled um, IEC power cable is for. Lovely, I wonder if that works. And if not, we can always open it up and have a look. I always forget how absolutely huge these things are. It's absolutely massive. 
Um, cup of tea for scale. Here we go. Cup of tea for scale. Okay. Um, yeah, that's huge. And very, very well appreciated. So pop that to one side. I say that quite a lot, don't I? Everybody and their neighbour's dog knows what this is. Because this is a chunky fudge C64. My word, this is such a great system. And look, it's got a random key that's uh, labelled white BRN, white brown or something. Um, and yeah, lovely. It's obviously had a bit of a refit at some point in the past. Um, we'll fire these up and see if these work very, very soon. Not in this video though, because it's an unboxing. And underneath, oh, we have got a slightly dusty, bless her, um, other Commodore with um, four smoker's keys, as I like to call them. Wow, well that looks awesome. I love the way that some of these keys age differently to others, which goes to show that they're all made of different batch plastics. This probably works as well, C64C. Down to one side with you. That was absolutely brilliant. That's the uh, disk drive cable. Pop it down there and away with this box. And now it's time for a jump cut because we're going to have a look in another box that Andy brought. Thank you. Uh, just quickly before I get the other box out, the uh, laptop seems to work. Um, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but uh, you know, it's uh, one gig of RAM, Intel Pentium M 1.7 gigahertz. So uh, I'm not quite sure where that's in the box, if I'm honest. And we're back. Okay, so uh, second box that Andy brought me, um, and he said that this one has got some tapes in it. It's actually really bloody heavy. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So, um, shall we? Everybody, three, two, one. Controlled opening. <laughs> oh, I can see what I think is a magazine. And I think it's so heavy because it looks like there's magazines here. Oh look, Hammer Fist. Software Choice. It's a catalogue that came with Sinclair User, I think. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Back to the Future Part 2. Excellent life and death. You know, that would be really interesting to sit and have a look through. Hammer Fist ad on the back. Turrican, what a great game. What a game. So, um, well, this might be quite a long video if there's going to be things like this in here. So, um, yes, here we go. Soldier One by Grieve Graphics. Soldier One action. Uh, let's put that to one side. And what's this here? This is for Beachhead 2. Looks like the instructions are all loose. This is for Ace of Aces. Um, actually, is that one of those multiple? No, that's for Ace of Aces. Pop that down there. This is, um, is that someone like their war games? Because that's Central Europe. Um, uh, World War II. Libya. It's probably a tank game in that case. Let's see. Important notice. If you notice this notice, you probably notice that this is an important notice. Right, um, Rambo. Loading. Top Gun. This is one of those action pack things. Insert for Flying Shark there, so we'll put that separate. Maybe there'll be things that I can liberate um, from the pile and put back with. Miami Vice, The Great Escape. Yeah, Commodore Hollywood Presents, that is. Great, so let's move that over to this side, folding it up properly. Right, let's see what we've got here. We have got Important notice that goes with the Hollywood greats. What's that for? Bruderbund Choplifter Commodore 64 cartridge instructions. Well, I'd be happy if there was a cartridge in here. I bet there isn't. New Zealand story instructions. Looks like somebody liked to have their instructions out. Toy Bazaar. That was a cart as well, I think. Um, I can't remember. So, Toy Bazaar by Activision. Um, 720. That's for giants. Afterburner, name Chris Hogg. I wonder if that's the gentleman who owned these. Um, what's this one? Commodore 64 Variety Pack by Prism Leisure. Johnny Reb. 
Skull, Fabulous Wanda, Micropro's Reg card. I have to go a bit quicker on this, I think. California Games, let's see what this is for. Games Crazy, okay. This is for boom, boom, boom. Uh, Solo Flight, so yeah, more military sort of flight stuff. That one's falling a bit to bits of it. Okay, pop that to one side. Uh, sleeve for Stealth Fighter. Free Frisbee offer. Only kidding. Um, Commodore 64, 128 cassette. Obviously, someone's had a little bit of a storage space issue. Rick Dangerous too. He's back in a flash. Yes. Oh my God, looks like um, Thomas Dolby. You came close, close but no cigar. Silent service instructions. Someone had a dot matrix printer. Good Lord, this can take ages. Okay, quick as I can, boys, quick as I can. That looked like Chuck Yeager. No, it's not. Solo flight instructions map thing. Bit of um, what we used to call sugar paper at school. Southern Bell, live out your dreams on the Southern Bell. Not really a dream that I'd ever want to live out. Oh, look, writing. Look at that. Actual writing. I wonder what that's about. Someone's number, I bet that's no longer in service. Well, I hope not. I've just outed them. Ace of Aces. On the kicks label, um, inlay. Other games. Oh, what have we got here? Quintec Warrior. Looks like a dodgy, dodgy photocopy. Um, for Zap Sizzlers. For Zap Sizzlers, apparently. That's Who Dares Wins Two Wizards Lair Thing on a Spring and Drop Zone. Labyrinth, the computer game, because if nothing else, you remind me of the babe. The babe with the power. The power of voodoo. You do. Remind me of the babe. More sugar paper. What we got here? This is um, Who Dares Wins 2, Drop Zone, Four Zap Sizzlers. Is that not exactly what I just had, but im Deutsch? I think it is. The Hit Squad. Good Lord. I wonder if all these games are actually in the box. I was. I'm just subjecting you to. They sold a million two. Okay. Not always a mark of quality that they sold a million. Free Frisbee offer. That goes with something there that we just looked at. Encounter. Mm, very nice. By Novagen. Look at all this box litter. Good Lord, we're up to six minutes already. Um, Zoids. The battle begins. Nearly there. I promise I'll shoot through these. Ace 2. Cockpit instrument. I've gone back in time and written that with my adult hand. Okay, nearly there. Silent Service, which is a sub sim. We've got boom, 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 Beachhead 2, Catalog 1990 from Microprose. They probably thought this was an epic customer. Hole in one! When you've got a hole in one, buy a new one. Uh, BMX Simulator for the C64 by Codemasters. Excellent. More Hit Squad. Probably the same stuff, yeah. Beachhead star stuff of Kana. They sold a million. Jet set Willy. Was that it for I was a rich man? I can't remember. Who knows? Who cares? Getting some games soon. Stealth Fighter. Oh my god. Um corner of some instructions. Other instructions that the corner belongs to. Scalectrics, the computer edition. Surely it's easier just to set your Scalectrics up. You can probably do it in the time it takes to load on a Commodore, to be honest. Awesome. Afterburner, Aerial Arcade Ace. I think this is the poster. Well, I never. That's a lie. I did several times and I'm not sorry. And I'd do it again, damn you. Nothing on the other side. Project Stealth Fighter, Technical Support Supplement, some kind of cockpit thing. Okay, for you, I'm actually going to have a swig of tea now. Phew. So if this has got loads of boxes in, I've got to put all that paperwork back into it. It's going to take ages. Right, let's see. Trivial Pursuit computer game on cassette. Every second counts, poor Paul. The Krypton Factor, finishing last with Krypton Factor of One, it's Mark Pitsy's stuff. Blockbusters, I'll have a pee pee, Bob. 
and um, yeah, Trivial Pursuit. So, um, are they all meant to be in there? Oh yes, look, they are all meant to be in there, except Bullseye doesn't appear to be there. In one, or not in one, I guess. Oh no, Bullseye's on the other side of that. That's Trivial Pursuit, Blockbusters, and the Crypton Factor. Right, so, oh good, complete a, complete a. Night moves, the ubiquitous night moves that turns up everywhere. Not for sale with anything. Night breed in there. They might be giants. I bet they are. Yes, they are. And it's all complete. I think that the boom, boom, boom instructions are down there. Let's see what we've got here. Mask 2. Awesome. Mask 2. Tape is in there. This is a really awesome package. Ace 2. Advanced Combat Emulator, if I remember. That stands for. Look! Guess what that's for? We don't have to. We know. Oh my word, look at this. And if you haven't seen a million copies of it on the Spectrum, here we go with Scrabble for the Commodore 64. So precious it's got bubble wrap over the top. By Leisure Genius. And that can go down in the pile. Game's crazy. We've definitely got the instructions for that, like three times in three different languages. Four tapes. Really good condition. Excellent. And what are the games on this? Let's have a quick look. They are Pogo, um, Crossbow. Let's see if we can focus on that. Pogo, Crossbow, Underwater Assault Course, Pillow Fighting, Skateboarding, Dare, Devil Dive, and Pole Climbing and Surfing. I've not heard of Slate Smash. Head Throwing. Crazy games, that should be, rather than game crazy. Um, crazy, insane, insane, crazy. Okay, uh, moving on. Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. Feel the magic, feel the roar. Thundercats have come out of the case. I'm out of time, looks good. Sort that out in a minute. What's this one? Beachhead 2, awesome game. Look at that, adventure writer in there. Naughty Naughty. Best of Elite Volume 1, Commodore, Bomb Jack, Frank Bruno's Boxing, Airwolf and Commando. So Airwolf kind of makes a bit of a mockery of the whole Best of Elite thing, considering how absolutely dog toilet it is. Bruce Electrics. I've just seen something for the Commodore 64. Got the instructions for that down there. Live action, Rambo, Green Beret, Top Gun, Great Escape and Army Moves. Looks excellent. Although there's a Quo Vardis inlay in here, I think, from the Edge software. So that can come out and go into the instructions file. Live action can go over there. Uh, very quickly through these um, hooky tapes, I think they are. Have a look. Oh no, Solo Flight Micropros for the 64. I can go up on the shelf. Uh, that's Stealth Pilots. It's an actual proper tape. New Zealand story for the C64. Great game. Bazooka Bill on the Ricochet by Master Tronic label. Excellent. This is going to take a long time. I hope you haven't got work planned today. Transformers by Ocean. No tape. Orc Attack by Creative Sparks. Look at that. Um, I think that one might be uncommon, actually. Orc Attack. Sorry if I'm going out of camera shot here. Um, silent service on the C64, that's in there. Now let's go through these a bit quicker. Steg the slug, loose cassette. Bubble bobble, tape is in there. There's a bit of inlay damage. Buggy boy and Ninja Turtles. Yep, that does look like a hooky McShlooky. Right, good Lord. There's like another two layers. Transformers, robots in disguise. Uh, Transformers is in there. Transformers battle to save Earth. Not sure if they're the same thing. Oh no, Transformers battle to save Earth. Right, lovely. That can go onto Le Piel. I'm having to make another pile so I don't get crushed under the Commodore software. Oh, that's fallen out. Harbour attack requires joystick. Don't we all, Commodore? Don't we all? Okay. Um, Paddington's Problem Picture Sorting Mosaics. 
that can go on the pile. Beachhead, they sold a million. Okay. Uh, Spy versus Spy Arctic Antics. What a great game that really, really is. So, uh, that there. Um, hmm, what's this? Victoria Brighton via Quarry. Some sort of train simulator. Southern Bell. Oh, that's a about your dreams. And about your bloody nightmares for me, but uh, yeah. Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, age 13 and three quarters by the now no longer with us, Sue Townsend. I do kind of remember that. I'm profoundly in love with Pandora. Steg the Slug uh, inlay, which goes with Steg the Slug over here. Put it together, pop that in a spare case. What's this? Best of Elite Volume 1 with <laughs> Airwolf on it. Right, so that can go down there. Okay, we're getting there. Let's get the big ones out. Good Lord, Colonial Conquest. It's the size of a dinner plate. And that was a disc, but there's no disc in there, as far as I can see. Oof. Oh, there is discs in there. Well, that, my friends, is a... F oh, Gauntlet as well. Colonial Conquest and Paul's something big diary. Mark Wurtz. Oh, there are a couple of discs in there. That is a really nice find. Gauntlet on the C64 on a flippy floppy disky whisky. Pop that over there. Excellent. I wonder why there was a disc drive and no discs. New Zealand Story. Oh, look, it's the double jewel edition, which is really nice. So we'll pop that over on the paper file. Solar Software. Busy Bees. Busy Bees. Busy Bees. Looks awesome. Okay, never heard of it. Right, let's see what we've got here. <gasps> Anyone? Elite Gold Edition for the C64. With the dark wheel included, the constellation chart, and the tape. Is that what that overlay's for? I've got a feeling it might be. If it is, it is. I'll tell you how we'll tell. We'll see how it folds into the box. I'd say that that's a match, YouTube, wouldn't you? That's lovely. Oh, yes. Epic legendary game is epically legendary. Ghostbusters clamshell. Wow. Okay. Awesome. The epic Ghostbusters by David Crane. And it looks like the instructions have been lip hooked in the top. I've got a bit of, um, hang on. Is that the instructions for this? Yes, it is. They have a bit of um, notation, as we say in the trade. It means some buggers written all over them. But uh, we'll live with that. Oh, I do love clams. Text Pro word processor. <laughs> Toy Bazaar. Mm, for the Commodore 64. Yes, nice. We've got the instructions for that down here somewhere. Zoids. The battle begins. And then the battle ends because... Not sure that they lasted very long, Zoids, weren't they? Uh, sort of poor man's Transformers. Transformers for uh, Arctic Adventure Spy vs. Spy. I think we've got the tape for that here. Wherever that's gone. Uh, I'll find it in a bit when you're not with me. Let's see. Micro Pros. Micro Pros, Micro Pros. Wherefore art thou Micro Pros? Oof. Persian Golf ONC. Look at that, look. That needs sorting out. That's a bit knacked. But uh, yeah, there should be a slipcase for that, I think. Not sure what game it is, but there'll be a slipcase for it. What have we got here? Um, Hollywood, that's five great games. Okay. Um, yep, as we'd expect with the Night Moves manual in there, which would separate out because it's in the wrong box. Spellbound Dizzy insert that gives me hope for dizzy goodness. And uh, Cross 64 Hair Soft Hair Razor Competition. Don't know. Whilst we're on the theme, they're back. Ghostbusters 2 for the CBM 64. I've got this on Spectrum as well now. And instructions looking really good. Brilliant. 
Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. This person had a lot of games. No instructions for that. And um, I don't know. What Flying Shark, a full price Taito in there. Excellent. Oh, I wonder if we'll come across the instructions for that in the pile. Okay, what have we got here? That's Spy vs. Spy, Arctic Antics, which we found the um, case and the tape for now. Oh! Apropos of nothing, we found Star Wars. By Domark. Excellent, that is a great game. Yes, please. Mm -mm -mm. That could do with a new case, really. If you're yellower than Bruce Lee's ball sack in the game. Masters of the Universe. I have the cassette tape. Lovely. We've also got We've Been Watching You because it's Labyrinth, the computer game. Oh, you changed my world, you precious thing. Can I open the case? I move for stars for no one. R.I.P. Dave. You brought so much and took so little and asked so little. There we go. Oh, excellent. Encounter, the original Nova Jean classic. Awesome. Superman, published in the UK by Telecom Soft. Superman versus Dark Side. Who knew? Not me. I bet that's rubbish. Aren't most Superman games really rubbish? Who knows? By First Star, though, who did uh, Boulder Dash. Run the Gauntlet. That was a rubbish ITV program, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find out. By Ocean. Renegade 3. Oh, dear God. Run the Gauntlet. Instructions are in there as well. Uh, Zap 64 Sizzlers, Wizard's Lair thing on a spring, drop zone, who dares wins, tapes are in there. Oh, I keep going out of camera, I've got a new camera set up here, see. so I can do 60 Summer Gold, Summer Gold. I think Bruce Lee's on Summer Gold compilation, if I recall correctly. Silkworm, excellent by Virgin Games, this is an excellent game. Wow, good. So much games. Got here more Zap Sizzlers, looks like the same thing. Unless they're all on separate cassettes, of course, which would be incredibly expensive. They sold a million. Yeah, we've got all the bits and bobs for that now. Sold a million. Other side, staff of Carnarth. I think we've got all of that now. I will go through and straighten these up when we have more time. Best of Elite Volume 2. All the box litter as well. Only one tape. I've got a feeling we saw one of those earlier as well. Um, Icicle Works. Uh, Space Sweeping Invaders. So let's see if Space Sweeping Invaders is actually Icicle Works. No, that's Crazy Golf. So let's see if Crazy Golf is actually... No, it's actually empty. Let's see if Treasure Island is... Treasure Island! Let's see if Number Chaser is... Number Chaser! These are plus four games, actually. Um, Mayhem is empty. Fire Ant. It's this Commodore 16 plus 4 game as well. Fire Ant and Exorcist. Let's see. It's got to be Exorcist because it's got yellow spools. Yes. Right, okay. So here's a packing game for the uh, C16 plus 4. I don't have one of those. Never really had the urge, to be honest. Um, top of the Pops. Top of the Pops. I wonder if that's an audio cassette. That would be interesting to try. I don't think there was a game called Top of the Pops. Mm -hmm. Phantom of the Asteroids and Chess. Yeah, okay. C64, Learning Ladders, McGraw Hill. Decimal Fractions, it will be still my beating heart. Johnny Reb and Fabulous Wanda. Ah, Condor, Johnny Reb. Scarlet and Fabulous Wonder. That goes with some instructions we found earlier. SWAT LA. Yep. Ship of the line. Yes. I'm getting fatigued. I'm actually going to have a little break. Okay, I'm back after that jump cut. I've uh, had some time to regain my strength. 
Phew, this is a bit of a marathon box. There's loads left. So I'm gonna go really quickly here. BMX simulator, we've got the inlay for that. Terminator by the Powerhouse with a free audio track, which follows the game. Very nice. Um, I'm just gonna move this light back actually a bit. It might be a bit darkened in here otherwise. I think that's better. Right, sorry. Quick jump cut while I moved the light so you could see a bit better into the box. Okay, um, Revelation. Soft tech, masters of the game. Revelation, never heard of it. That is a monstrous amount of tape there. That, um, make more space on the desk. See, I like getting all these things out of boxes. I don't like putting them away again. What are these? They look like cover tapes. C64 tape computing. Tracks, editorial. This looks really familiar. These look familiar. I don't know why, but they do. Weirdly, the inlays are the wrong way around. Look. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna assume they're all there for the sake of um, sanity. Captain Kid. My bug bites. Here we go. Please use the other side, Captain Kid. Side two, side one. Who knows? Who cares? Pardon me. Speaking fighter pilots. Bookie bookie. I'm splitting out the hooky ones. Grab another chunk. They said. Hero, no tape. Soccer boss. That's about the fourth copy of this I have now. Eyeball. Eyeball. Have I played that? I don't know. Let's see. Tapes in there. Oof. Yes, tapes in there. Um, I'm seeing lots of these tapes I've just put over the tails. C64 depth charge. C64 computing number 14. Uh, that's another one of those cover stroke. Percy the Potty Pigeon. So, I don't know why he's called Potty Pigeon. Maybe he's not learned how to uh, use the proper toilet. Bump Set Spike. Entertainment USA. They did some excellent games, actually. Uh, Flash Gordon. Flash, Flash, we only have 14 seconds to save the earth. What's that? Oh, never mind. Okay, Flash Gordon. Uh, Spooks by Mastertronic. Fast Loader C64. There's some screens in there. Loads of games here. Dungeon Frogger. That sounds like a real mashup, that one. Dungeon Frogger. Um, <clears throat> no! Ugh. I feel dirty touching it. I hope it's not. I hope it's not, and I hope you enjoyed the free wristwatch. Ugh. Cassette 50. Notice it's just thrown back into the case like discarded poo roll. For it is poo roll. Okay, um... Hmm. If anyone wrote um, one of the tracks on cassette 50, never speak to me. Okay, moving on. C64 tape computing, empty case. Uh, Black Knight, never actually heard of that. Black Knight. Nope, never heard of it. Uh, on the pile she goes. Stealth from Brodevund. Fast load chrome tape. Mine got in Himmel. Yes, it is actually a chrome tape as well. Okay. It's a US chart hit. Again, doesn't mean anything. It just means they managed to sell it really well. Naughty Copter, Hooky McDookie. Phew, we're getting there, kids. We're getting there. Um, mm, that's Aqua, the free game from the Masters of Budget Software. Never heard of it. Okay, video minis on a C64. Is it the right tape? Yes, it is. It's there. All right, it's in apparent care with all of these tapes are rewound, but so many of them have the cassette over the top of the tail of the inlay, which has squashed them down. So I'm actually going to go through them all and make sure that um, they're all there. Common, uh, 1985, the day after. 
I wonder if that's anything to do with the day after, which was that terrifying thing that was on UK television. Uh, Transformers, yep, Hooky Madooky. Uh, Commodore 64 picture of a rabbit. Hair Razor Prelude. Okay, that's something to do with that. Part one of a two part adventure puzzle of animated graphics. Never heard of it. I haven't heard of a lot of these though, to be honest. Operation Fireball, which is whenever my wife does some cooking. Um, hooky tape. Okay, for you. Fast back, high speed backup utility for Commodore 64. It's going to promise to copy everything. Yeah, okay, whatever. Interesting to look at that though. Um, Arcade 64, is that? Yep, for. This is a Computer and Video Games Hall of Fame game. Arcadia 64. Good. Learning Ladders Multiplication. No, boring. And The Games. Again, Sports Sims. Boring The Games Winter Edition. Phew. So reliable, they've got it twice. Another fast back by Angus Sega. Uh, word, power, boring. Soldier One, mm -hmm. um, Hooky, Hooky. We're getting right down to the uh, yeah merger program analyzer. Boring. Sorry, I <laughs> can't help myself. Traffic. Rush hour traffic control in the city. Mm. A traffic simulation game. Can you guess the word that I'm going to say? It's not interesting. Right. Ah, Fancy World Dizzy. Oh, really mashed. Mashed, mashed, mashed. Oh, bless. Poor Dizzy. I'm actually going to put him out of his uh, misery right now. Oh, he loves me a bit of Dizzy. I hate it when I see him hurt. Ugh. Natch, what are you going to do? Not a lot. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> no, I'm not grateful, obviously. Um, Hooky. Uh, don't even know what this is. Looks like a proper tape in a wrong case. Personal computer games, this side Spectrum, other side CBM64. This has Spectrum and BBC, it says. Frogger. Frogger. No way. Spellbound Dizzy. Huzzah! Up the top with you. In fact, let's do it now. Let's do it right now. Let's get this done before you go the way of your brother. You end up all mashed. Okay. Spellbound Dizzy. In the case. And that actually looks really nice. I think I got played a lot actually, looking at it. Right, uh, 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 64 tape computing, some sort of tape thing. Fractions, probably people collect those. Gin Genie, hey, reference to the dame, the Gin Genie. Death Star, takes you into the third dimension by Rabbit Software Death Star. Nothing to do with uh, Star Wars, obviously. Gunrunner. Looks like fun. By the powerhouse. Oh, we're getting there. <coughs> Ladders to learning. Yawn. Hooky. Um, nope, 64 tape computing number five. I'm going to have to offload some of these. Um, yeah. Neptune's daughter. This is Palm's Five Lovely Daughters. Mm, don't know what that is. It looks bizarre. Let's have a look at that one. Multi screen arcade adventure. Interesting. Mm. Uh, Ace 2, which goes with the Ace 2 case that we found earlier, no doubt. So uh, just focus back on the box. Nearly there, thank goodness, I'm exhausted. Skyjet. 
uh, Mastertronic fast loader. They all say fast loader, is it all lies? <laughs> I'm getting fatigued again, guys. Um, well, that is soft copy computer data cassette. Oh, it's just a blankety blank. Don't know. Ladders to learning. Voodoo Castle. Load. Nearly there. Soft copy. Maniac Miner. Hmm. Spirits Snowman. Spirits? What the hell is a spirit? Spirit? Arcadia 64 again. That's two of those. Um, <laughs> clear round. Rubbish. Oh my goodness. That cannot be the real name of a game in this day and age. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. Even back then, come on. Um, Warhawk. Warhawk, it's in there. I tell you what, anyone who's stayed to the end of this video, seriously. Games Machine presents The Fabulous Wonder, The Secret of Life, The Universe and Everything with a nod to Douglas Adams there, I think. Alan G. Osborne. Looks like a short run. It's actually um, a Dot Matrix label, 1983 Games Machine. Uh, dictionary use, no. Star Race. Star Race. Hang on, Star Race. Star Race. Star Race. Star Race. Mm. Dark Dungeons. Annie Rog. Oh! Awesome. Annie Rog, frog run, not a frog a knockoff at all. I bet you. In fact, it's a frog on the road. Yeah, uh, one of those tape sixty-four tape things. Brighton rubbish. See in here. No. Pookie. No. Nearly, I think there's about seven left now. Oh, Dracula! No sacks, please. We're Egyptian. I like that episode. Excellent. Alternative software. Count Dracula C64 recorded both sides, as they did. Potty Pigeon. We've got the tape for that somewhere. It's a Gremlin graphics, isn't it? Yes. It's got a bit of a thing going on there. Pavloda. Don't know what that means. Multiplication. Um, Lerders to learning. Let's get rid of those. Number builder for the plus four. Um, computer cassette, purple turtles. Yep, hooky. Hero, we've got the tape case for that. Um, Ace of Aces. I think we've got the case for that, I think. Hungry Horace for the Commodore 64. Hungry Horace? For the Commodore 64, has somebody actually ported Hungry Horace to the Commodore 64? Ah, really? Got to read the blurb on this one. The original Horace game is now available for the C64. Horace creates havoc in the park as he picks the flowers, annoys the guards and steals their lunch. Hmm. A maze designer built in just to further poke Spectrum users in the eye. Okay, so we'll pop that back down there. Nearly done. Quo Vardis, Quo Vardis by the edge. We've got the box litter for that here. We lost the box. I lost the plot. Algebraic relations. <sighs> and finally, hole in one. Got a hole in one, get another one. Right, that is everything that Andy brought for me. Thank you so, 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 so much. That is amazing. I actually became exhausted going through that box. There was so much of it. So um, brilliant. I think it's about half an hour, this video. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, bye. Bye, everyone. 
I've forgotten what I said at the end of videos. Um, this is Mark from Mark's Fixy Stuff signing out and reminding you to subscribe to get your fix. If you like what I do, tell others. If you don't like what I do, tell no one. Bye.